If you're suffering from frontal hairline baldness, it's very likely that you're looking for solutions to your problem, and you may have come across minoxidil. So in this video today, we want to be seeing the effectiveness of minoxidil on frontal hair balding, and we're gonna see how it works, and we're gonna see whether or not it can be effective as part of your hair care routine. Before we get into the video on front hairline baldness and minoxidil, if you're worried about your own hair loss, click the link in the description, upload a quick hair selfie, answer a few short questions about yourself, and you'll get your free hair guard analysis. So what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to be looking at what causes frontal baldness. We're going to see whether minoxidil is going to work on frontal hairline baldness. We're going to look at how minoxidil works in general. Uh, then we're going to look at how it, you can use minoxidil for hair growth. We'll look at some of the brand's availabilities and costs. We'll talk about the side effects and then we'll finish with a conclusion. So first, what causes frontal baldness? It is believed that male pattern baldness is caused by a sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone. Dihydrotestosterone is a compound that is created when the 5-alpha reductase enzyme attaches onto testosterone. Now, it's not necessarily that people that suffer with male pattern baldness have high levels of either testosterone or dihydrotestosterone. It is literally just a sensitivity. Now, when we have this sensitivity, dihydrotestosterone can attack the hair follicles, which can lead to hair miniaturization. So this is one of the leading causes of frontal baldness. Now, how minoxidil works is, well, there are drugs on the market, specifically finasteride and dutasteride, which inhibit 5-alpha reductase and therefore reduce levels of dihydrotestosterone. While this seems like the logical approach to treating pattern hair loss, it does have some downsides. DHT is, after all, a natural androgen within the body, and by reducing its levels, you can adversely affect your sex life and perhaps even your health. So what's the alternative? Well, minoxidil is a vasodilator which was originally developed to treat hypertension. However, the noticeable side effect of hair growth made it a popular off-market treatment for pattern baldness. As such, it was soon developed into its own formula, known as Rogaine, and FDA approved as topical treatment for men and later women with androgenetic alopecia. And just before we go any further, if you see that bracket and then a number, we're citing some kind of academic resource or literature, so you can see all those studies listed in the description if you want to further your own knowledge. Now, as a vasodilator, the drug is believed to increase blood flow to the scalp. This ensures the delivery of oxygen and nutrients even when miniaturization is present. But there are other theorized mechanisms too. Perhaps the most convincing is minoxidil's ability to upregulate vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF, which supports dermal papillar vasculature. Now, is minoxidil an effective treatment for genetic baldness? While research has shown that not everyone will benefit from the use of minoxidil, the low cost and minor side effects make minoxidil a treatment that may be worth a try. In slightly less than 50% of individuals with androgenetic alopecia uh, and treated with minoxidil say that it's an effective treatment. One study has found though that hair growth results seem to peak at the one year mark and hair growth levels slowly decline afterwards. By the five year treatment mark, an improvement of baseline hair regrowth levels are still present but hair regrowth has slowed significantly. Another study performed over the course of 104 weeks found similar results with hair growth peaking between week 52 and week 76. And while the rate of hair growth returned to baseline levels by week 104, there were no major side effects associated with its long-term use. Now, as mentioned, the root cause of male pattern baldness is dihydrotestosterone and also scalp tension. And that is, as long as DHT is present in the hair follicles, follicle miniaturization will most likely continue. Minoxidil doesn't work to stop the production of DHT. Instead, this treatment method works to stimulate hair growth by dilating the blood vessels. Now, this leads to increased oxygen and nutrient delivery to the hair follicles, both of which are necessary for stimulating the growth of strong, healthy hair. In a way, minoxidil works despite the presence of DHT. However, the DHT is still there within the hair follicles. So, can minoxidil effectively treat frontal balding? Well, yes and no. Yes, as it will temporarily stop hair shedding and stimulate hair growth. No, as once application of the topical solution is stopped, so too is the hair growth. 
The evidence would suggest that since frontal boldness is the early stage of male pattern boldness, that minoxidil would work most effectively on the frontal area. Loss of hair that's gone on for a long time is actually harder to regrow than early stage frontal boldness. Frontal boldness is recession along the forehead and temples where the hairline is receding. This is also called a maturing hairline. And this is one of the areas that minoxidil is most effective in. A cream version of minoxidil could be particularly effective for the front hairline since it can be easily and carefully applied exactly where you need it. The advantage is that it stays on the scalp longer and is therefore more effective. So how can you start using minoxidil for hair growth? One of the great appeals of minoxidil is the ease with which it can be used. This topical solution is applied to the scalp twice daily. There are two different solutions and you've got the foam and the liquid so consumers can choose the application method which works best for them. Now let's look at some of the brands availability and cost. While there are a variety of store brands available over the counter, the most common brand name associated with minoxidil is Rogaine. This can be purchased from a variety of retailers both in store and online. Due to this, prices will vary based upon location, solution type and where you purchase. For example, a three month supply of Rogaine purchased from Amazon is $45.89, while a one month supply from Walmart costs $24.97. Of course, you can always choose a store brand option to save on costs, but be sure to double check the active ingredients and that they match the Rogaine solution. Kirkland is another brand you could consider. And now most importantly, let's have a look at the side effects. As with any treatment, there is also a risk of adverse side effects. But how common are these risks with minoxidil and what are they exactly? The most common side effects of minoxidil use are mild dermat dermatological issues, including itching, flaking and redness. This is very likely linked to an active ingredient, propylene glycol, which is found in most liquid formations of the drug. Fortunately, there is a foam alternative available for those who are sensitive to propylene glycol. But there are those side effects which have more to do with the drug's mechanism and less to do with an active ingredient. Some individuals may experience adverse effects related to the hypertensive nature of the treatment. And these include flushing of the face and neck, headaches, lightheadedness, dizziness, palpitations, and chest pain. If you are pregnant or nursing, it's important to speak with your physician before you begin treatment. Uh, the same can be said for anyone with underlying health conditions. Now, with true thirds of the male population affected by hair loss and baldness, a large number of pharmaceutical treatments have been created over the years. Now we've just examined one such treatment which is minoxidil and its efficacy. Initially we set out to answer the question of can it be an effective treatment for frontal baldness. And now while we'd like to provide you with a clear cut answer, the truth is only you can decide. About half of those who use minoxidil will see results, though these results only last for as long as treatment continues. Of course the cost isn't prohibitive that you can give it a try for yourself. You may find that the effects are worth the hassle of use, or you may decide that minoxidil treatment isn't for you. Since frontal baldness is typically early stage hair loss and minoxidil works more effectively to regrow recently lost hair, there is a good chance that it may work effectively for you. Now whatever you decide, keep in mind that the cause of androgenetic alopecia is sensitivity to dihydrotestosterone, and only treating the root issue will permanently stop further thinning and promote hair growth. So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you today on minoxidil and frontal hair balding. If you're worried about your hair loss, don't forget to click the link in the description to get your free hair guard analysis and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.